Is this on? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hello. I am winning Tim there. And this is going to be my first vlog. Um, I believe that's what it's called. Video, vlog. Anyway. Since this is my first one, I figured I should introduce myself before we really get into cooler stuff. I'm reading the Bible. Ooh. Yes. So, I was born in uh, 1490. Oh. I don't exactly remember. Anyway, in Gloucestershire, which is hard to say, but in 1506, Ireland, to Magdalen Hall, Oxford, and I studied there. I got my uh, my bachelor's and my master's degree, both in the arts, and not like painting, but you know, like arts sort of thing. Anyway, got my master's fifteen uh, fifteen, and then I think there's a 1518, that this guy named Richard Gould, professor of Greek at Leipzig, returned to Cambridge and he was teaching Greek, which was kind of a big deal because the church wasn't too fond of people teaching Greek, but it was, you know, accepted enough. There was some debate. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, and then the following year, 1519, I went to Cambridge. Uh, Erasmus Cordude was teaching there, was teaching Greek, uh, working on his Greek New Testament, which was a pretty big deal. And that sort of inspired me to start my English New Testament. Yes, you heard that right. I am the guy that translated the Bible into English. Not the only one, but like the first major successful one. Anyway, I learned about the Bible there and uh, how to read Greek and other languages. I speak, uh, what is it, 11 now? Yeah, 11. But anyway, uh, 1520s, this Wolsey guy, what Wolsey? Yes, Wolsey, he you know, the Cardinal of England and kind of in charge of pretty much everything relating to religious matters, which is pretty much everything because it's the 1500s. Uh, yeah, he showed up. That was a big deal. Um, 1521, big year. They started burning Luther's books all over uh, England and other places, but I wasn't in other places, so, you know, and, right, 1521, so they were burning his books, but, like, everyone kept reading them anyway, because he's awesome, and, yeah, so people were smuggling all these books, and if you even don't know the place, and I'm going to read some of that. Mm -hmm. 1522, I started tutoring for Sir John Walk and his wife and family. They were really neat. They like to have clergy over the dinner. And um, we occasionally would, okay, often, I guess, would get into, you know, discussions like disagreements about biblical theology and stuff like that. And they never seem to like it because. I always, you know, backed up my argument with the science Bible verses quoted, like, word for word, and mentioned where the verse was in chapter and everything. And for some reason they couldn't do that. Well, for some reason being that lots of them hadn't actually read it, or at least hadn't understood it. The Bible, that is. Yes, I'm talking about this. Sort of disappointing. And, uh... The, the, the Walshers weren't a bit of a fan of my doing this. They, um, not at first anyway. 
but uh, eventually I I uh, translated this book um, from uh, Erasmus's book actually, and the Handbook of a Christian Soldier. They liked that, and um, they decided they agreed with me. And clearly stopped coming over for dinner. I feel like partly because they didn't like me, and partly because the Walshes are just cool like that. Anyway, I heard there was a new bishop in 1523, Cuthbert Um So I translated an oration of Isocrates, not the same as Socrates, different guy. So cool. Anyway, I went to London to meet the dean, but um, he was busy for like almost a whole year, and I had to stay somewhere. Um, yeah, I ended up staying with this guy that heard me preaching, because that was the thing I was doing, I was preaching, and um, this merchant view, wealthy merchant, he really liked my preaching, and me, we became friends, and uh, this guy's name was, hang on, I can remember it, um, I can remember his name, hang on, oh, it's on the tip of, okay, so, so I don't remember his name, but, um, yeah, that's not, anyway, he's an awesome legend, and later, that's the kind of name. And he was actually interested in studying scripture. So I thought that was cool. So he let me stay at his house for a year and worked as a preacher and um, translator and stuff. Um, then I was trying for heresy. Luckily, that time I uh, wasn't convicted. Somehow, which was cool because I mean it wasn't heretical, but then you know said it was heretical. But I was, uh, where was I? Um, heresy. Yes. So they said it wasn't heresy, which is cool. But um, I did realize that they weren't a fan of Luther's ideas, and they weren't a fan of common reading of the Bible, saying that it was like you know root of all sin, even Sir Thomas More, cool guy, he, he said I was kind of a nice dude before I decided all these things, but um, he was like, yeah, if the common man can read the Bible, that's like the worst, it'll lead to all sorts of sin, and that's what all sorts of people were saying, you know, lots of people were, were saying that it would ruin everything if the common man could read the Bible, like, you know, the, if you look back from your plan a bit, but like don't don't look back from the clouds, just just go. They thought the poor men would take that literally and stop plowing fields. And the one about sometimes when I was always afraid to you to sin. They thought they'd only take that literally. And like there'd be lots of blind people. We had an argument, but it you know, that's what they were saying. So you know. But I realized I couldn't actually translate the Bible into English um, successfully. If I stayed in England since I was very much on edge, like really and politically, like they let me go free, but only barely. Like they were still very much against me. If I started translating the English Bible there, well, would have ended up where I am now much sooner, and I'll explain that in a bit. But anyway, I decided I was going to exile, which was uh, very disappointing for me because I like England. I could leave my home country, friends, everything behind and sail off to like my own exile thing. I think it was 1523. Yeah, and I uh, headed off to Wittenberg and my next vlog episode. We'll explain what happened next after that, which is the most exciting part of my life and career, and probably the most God honoring and illegal things I've ever done. Sounds contradictory, but it's not.
See you next time. Uh, like, subscribe, whatever else you can do with this YouTube thing. It's kind of new. Not totally sure how it works yet. Anyway, see you later. Yeah.